Hey everybody, welcome, Love Has A Name YouTube channel. This is Brian. I'm actually on a bit of a vacation with my wife and my mom for the first time. I apologize that the camera is a bit close to my face, but that's just because I did not bring the microphone adapter. Uh, it's at the room we're staying in, so my apologies. So anyway, uh, I wanna share with you a prophetic word the Lord has given to Diana Larkin. So I'm gonna go through that here, but first let me show you a little bit of where we are at. Uh, I'll have it in the description, I believe, where we're at, just because off the top of my head, I do not remember. But we are, I can tell you at the very least, we are in Toronto, and we are at a castle. We are just finishing up a quick tour, so let me let you take a look. Just a few seconds, and then I will give you the prophetic word, and then uh, perhaps I'll show you a little bit more, all right? All right, well, here is the prophetic word. Uh, by the way, today I am filming this as, uh, oh, I'm gonna have this uh, video uploaded and premiering on July 1st, 2024. Today, as of this recording, it is Sunday the 30th. So, this prophetic word is called The Shift. The Lord spoke to Diana Larkin. Let me read this to you, what a powerful word. And this is what it says. A shift has been taken place in this battle from dark to light. The darkness was determined to put you on the precipice of destruction so that they could sweep in and take control, the control, the total control that they crave. But your warfare, your bold faith, and your worship have turned the tide. The darkness now finds they are staring down into a bottomless pit. Will you join me, sending them over the edge, along with all their death agendas and the stealing of your resources? The shift puts you in a place to receive your rod of authority over the darkness. Just like Moses, just like his rod, your rod will swallow up lies turn the schemes of the darkness back onto them and it will open the pathway to step into the kingdom age of life light and freedom come before me to receive your rod of authority it is now time to shift this epic season from dark to light and now diana larkin shares with us a practical application that came forth through her applying this herself. So let's, let's get ready to have that spirit of teachability and listen to this. Practical application. Diana Larkin says, Last night, I was moved to do powerful warfare over my grandchildren whose identities are threatening to be stolen. This morning I found myself in the throne room of heaven and a rod of authority had been placed in my left hand. My right hand was free to access my sword when it was needed. This rod of authority is used to slam on the ground and declare no more. You will take no more territory in the lives of my family and my nation. Your power is broken. Darkness, excuse me, it says. Sorry guys, had to move location because I was recording and some people just jump in behind me with no with no thought of what they were doing. Okay, let's try this again. 
So, we were saying here, in this encounter, this exercising of this practical application, Diana Larkin was given a rod of authority and it was used to slam on the ground and declare, no more. You will take no more territory in the lives of my family and nation. Your power is broken, darkness. And I command you to get off our land. I shatter the power of the lies you have sown into the world of identity theft, false comforts of greed and of perversion. I release the fire of the Most High God to consume these lies. And I speak the truth of the power of the blood to enlighten cons to enlighten minds and hearts. I declare that the kingdom of God is arising and in my family and in my nation. And it will fill the whole earth with his goodness and his glory. Wow, saints, I hope that you have written some of those decrees. I apologize to you that I have to have the camera, my phone, close to my face and it's a little difficult to read the font and have it so close so that you can hear me. So I'm gonna cut it short, but uh, let me go around and show you the back of this castle, uh, the back side of the castle, as well as some of the backyard, all right? So I uh, also would appreciate your prayers when you're seeing this. My wife and I will no longer be in Toronto. We will be elsewhere. And then I'll do another video or so or two so that you can see the next place where we are going to be at. All right. So let me share with you a few images. Once again, I apologize for the sound. You don't have to tell me that you couldn't hear me. You don't have to tell me you couldn't hear the sound. I'm sorry if it's not perfect, but see what your options are try headphones try a different device and um anyway doing what i can all right so let me show you this and then i'll let you go